Ever wondered how submarines these incredible underwater vessels are built? It's quite a fascinating process. Submarines, the silent predators of the deep, have captivated our imaginations for ages. These magnificent machines are not just props in a thrilling Tom Clancy novel or a James Bond film. They are real, tangible marvels of human engineering, designed to operate in an environment that is as alien to us as the surface of the moon. Submarines serve a multitude of purposes, from scientific exploration to military defense, and even as luxury toys for the super-rich. They allow humans to venture into the mysterious depths of the ocean to observe, investigate, and at times, to engage in covert operations. But have you ever paused to contemplate how these fantastic machines are built? It's not like assembling a car or an airplane. The process is much more complex, requiring a unique blend of science, engineering, and sheer human ingenuity. Understanding the construction of submarines can give us a profound appreciation for what our species is capable of when faced with the challenges of venturing into the unknown. It takes us beyond the realm of ordinary shipbuilding into a world where we must contend with extraordinary pressures, temperatures, and the relentless force of the sea. As we delve into this topic, we'll explore the various stages of submarine construction from the initial design phase to the rigorous testing that ensures these vessels can withstand the harsh conditions of the deep sea. We'll learn about the materials used, the intricate systems that keep the crew alive and the vessel operational, and the incredible attention to detail that goes into every single step of the process. So, strap in and get ready for a deep dive into the world of submarine construction. This is not just about understanding how things are made. It's about marveling at the audacity of human ambition the power of innovation, and the unyielding spirit that drives us to explore the uncharted depths of our blue planet. Now, let's dive into the depths of how submarines are made. In the beginning, there's a plan. The design stage is where the magic starts. Imagine architects and engineers huddled over blueprints, their minds buzzing with equations and ideas. This is where the journey of creating a submarine begins, at the design stage. Here, a vision transforms into a blueprint, a plan that will eventually morph into a colossal underwater marvel. The design process of a submarine isn't just about aesthetics or how sleek it looks as it slices through the ocean. No, it goes way beyond that. It's a complex dance between form and function, where every line drawn, every calculation made, has a purpose. Remember, a submarine isn't just a vessel that floats, it's a vessel that dives deep into the ocean, into the unknown. This means the submarine has to withstand enormous pressure, the kind that can easily crush an ordinary object. Hence, designing a submarine requires precise calculations and meticulous planning. Safety is paramount. Submarines are often packed with advanced technology and a crew who will call this vessel home for months on end. Therefore, the design must include secure compartments, escape routes and safety measures to protect against the unexpected. Functionality is equally crucial. The submarine needs to maneuver effortlessly underwater, remain submerged for extended periods, and resurface when required. So, the design includes ballast tanks to control buoyancy, a propulsion system for movement, and a periscope for surface view, among other features. Designing a submarine isn't a one-time task. It's an iterative process, where designs are continually refined based on tests, simulations, and feedback. This ensures that the final design is not just good, but perfect. But it's not all about the submarine's exterior. The interior design is equally vital. It needs to be a functional, comfortable living space for the crew. Imagine fitting an entire mini-city into a tube. That's essentially what submarine interior design is all about. In essence, the design stage is a delicate balance of ensuring safety, functionality, and comfort while dealing with the unique challenges of deep-sea exploration. It's a testament to human ingenuity and tenacity. Once the design is perfect, it's time to start building. Now, we enter the construction phase where the design comes to life. Imagine a puzzle, but instead of small cardboard pieces, you've got massive steel structures, intricate systems, and high-tech equipment. That's what we're looking at when we talk about submarine construction. It's an intricate dance of engineering, technology, and human expertise. The journey begins with raw materials, primarily steel, 
which is shaped and molded into the hull of the submarine. This is no ordinary steel, though. It's a special kind called High 80 or High 100, known for its superior strength and resistance to pressure. This is the backbone of the submarine, designed to withstand the intense pressures of the deep ocean. While the hull is being crafted, other teams are busy creating the internal systems. These include the nuclear reactor, the propulsion systems, the navigation systems, and the life support systems. Each of these is a feat of engineering in its own right, and they all have to work in perfect harmony. But the construction of a submarine is not without its challenges. Picture trying to fit all of these systems and equipment into a confined space, all while ensuring the vessel remains balanced and can function effectively underwater. It's a bit like trying to build a spaceship, but instead of the vacuum of space, you're dealing with the crushing pressures and darkness of the ocean depths. The fit-out stage is where a hollow shell becomes a working submarine. Now that we've designed and constructed our submarine, it's time to breathe life into it. This is the fit-out stage, where we install all the systems and equipment that make a submarine. Well, a submarine. In our submarine's heart, we install the propulsion system. This is what powers our submarine, making it glide through the water like a stealthy sea creature. The propulsion system is a complex beast, housing the engine, the electric generator, and the batteries. It's all about precision here, as we have to ensure that these components are perfectly fitted and aligned. Next comes the navigation system. This is our submarine's eyes and ears, enabling it to find its way through the vast ocean depths. We install sonar systems, radar, and GPS. Again, precision is key. A slight error in the installation of these systems could lead to disastrous consequences, like getting lost in the deep blue. Then, we outfit the control room, the brain of the submarine. Here, we install the periscope, control panels, and communication devices. This is where the crew will make key decisions, navigate the submarine, and communicate with the outside world. Next, we focus on the living quarters. We have to remember that the crew will be living in this submarine for months at a time. So, we install comfortable sleeping quarters, a fully equipped kitchen, and even a recreational area. It's all about making the submarine a home away from home. Throughout this process, quality control is of utmost importance. We have to ensure that every system, every piece of equipment is installed correctly and functioning perfectly. This is where rigorous inspections and checks come into play. After all, there is no room for error when you're hundreds of feet below the ocean surface. And there you have it. Our hollow shell has transformed into a fully equipped, ready-to-go submarine. But don't get too excited yet. The submarine is now ready, but it's not quite time to set sail. There's still one more crucial stage left, but we'll dive into that in the next scene. Before a submarine can dive into the ocean, it must pass rigorous testing. This is the phase where all the hard work of design, construction, and fit-out is put to the ultimate test. The testing phase is a step-by-step -step process, leaving no stone unturned. It begins with system checks. Every single component, from the periscope to the propulsion systems, is thoroughly examined. The submarine's navigation and communication systems are tested to ensure they're working perfectly, as these are vital for the crew's safety and the submarine's operation. Then comes the all-important sea trials. This is where the submarine is immersed in water for the first time, a moment of truth for everyone involved. The submarine's performance, maneuverability, and safety features are all assessed under real sea conditions. This testing phase is absolutely crucial. It's all about ensuring the utmost safety and efficiency for the crew who will be operating in some of the world's harshest and most unforgiving environments. Once a submarine passes all tests, it's ready for its mission. Now, you know how these incredible underwater vessels are made. We've journeyed from the design stage, where blueprints come to life, through the construction phase, where metal is shaped and welded, to the fit-out stage, where the submarine is equipped with all its technical gear. Finally, we've seen the rigorous testing phase, ensuring the safety and functionality of these marvels of engineering. Now we'd love to hear from you. What did you find most surprising about the process? Do you have any questions about what you've learned today? Drop a comment below and let's keep the conversation going. If you found this video enlightening, don't forget to hit that like button 
share it with your friends who love learning about how things are made. And to ensure you don't miss out on more deep dives into fascinating topics like this, hit that subscribe button. Thank you for joining this deep dive into the fascinating world of submarines. Until next time, keep exploring. Keep exploring.